Hey kids, guess what? Our song is first today. So I want to invite kids of all ages to stand up and get your marching feet ready because we're in the army of the Lord. Our struggle is not against flesh and blood. It's against the powers of this dark world. Therefore, put on the full armor of God. So you can stand your ground. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I got my war clothes on. In the army of the Lord. I, I, I got my war clothes on. Clothes on in the army. Yeah. I, 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 I'm a soldier in the army and the army I'm a the soldier Ooh. in the army. I, I, I'm a soldier in the army and the army. I'm a soldier in the army. I, 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 I got my breastplate on in the army and the army. I, I, I got my helmet on. that song. I've been working on practicing the actions. Do you know all of the actions? The other thing I like to do during that song is marching my feet. It's kind of fun when we're standing and we get to be in the army of God and we get to march our feet. It makes me think about what we're talking about today. Do you remember what we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks? If you said prayer, you're absolutely right. Today we're going to talk about prayer of worship. Did you know that worship can be a prayer? Well, it kind of makes sense if we go back to what is prayer? Prayer is talking to God and then listening as he talks back to us. It's something that oftentimes we do during our praise and worship service. We might be talking to God through song and then sometimes we're really still 
and quiet as we listen back to what he's saying to our hearts. But it does bring the question to mind, well, what is worship? So when we were singing our opening song and we were marching our feet, is marching my feet a form of worship? Well, I think it can be. What are some other ways that we worship? That's right, we can sing. When we sing, that's a way that we worship. What else? Did you say clapping your hands? Clapping your hands is another form of worship. We could also shout. We could also move our bodies. We could dance. We could be really still and quiet, peaceful. Is it worship if a song is playing and I'm listening to the words and I have my eyes closed and my hands crossed and my mouth closed? Is that worship? Well, sure, that's a form of worship. But there is something that can get in the way of us worshiping God. It's this little thing, maybe you've heard of it, it's called pride. I think about when I was younger and I loved to worship God. I would turn music on in my room and I would raise my hands, I would dance, I would sing very loudly. If you didn't know this about me, I'm not really a very good singer, but when I was in my room, none of that really mattered because it was just me and God and I was worshiping away. But then when I got to church, it was a little bit of a different story. I always felt like everybody would hear that I'm not a very good singer, um, that they would kind of make fun of me if I was raising my hands up or if I was dancing along with the music or showing God how much I loved him through just moving my body or clapping my hands. I was really worried about what other people thought. Have you ever seen a movie called Superman? I always think that it's interesting because Superman has a disguise when he's in his regular human form. So when he's a regular human, do you remember what his name is? That's right, it's Clark Kent. When he's Clark Kent, he only has one thing that protects his identity, and it's a pair of glasses. I mean, Batman at least has a mask, but not Superman. When he has the glasses on, boom, Clark Kent. When he has the glasses off, Superman. When the glasses come back on, back to mild-mannered Clark Kent. I think it's interesting that in the TV show, uh, even Lois didn't realize that just with the glasses on or glasses off, that it was still the same man. Superman and Clark Kent, same person. But when he was hiding his Superman identity and he put his glasses on, it's kind of like when we have on our pride. When I'm so prideful that I don't want other people to see that I'm worshiping God or I'm raising my hand or I'm clapping my hands or I'm singing loudly, even if it's off tune, it's like I have my glasses on and I'm hiding behind my pride. In John 4, 24, it talks a little bit about how we worship God. It says, God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. If I'm deciding to hide behind my pride glasses and I'm just gonna stand there and be really still because I don't want anybody to make fun of me while I'm worshiping God, then that's not really the truth of my spirit loving God and giving everything to him. It reminds me of a story in the Bible in Joshua. In Joshua 6, it talks about the Battle of Jericho. Have you heard this story? It's where God promised to Joshua and all of his people that they could have a city named Jericho. They could live there and he was blessing them with it. But when they got there, there was a bunch of other people there that said, no way, you guys don't get to come in. They had big walls up that made sure that nobody could enter the city except for the people that were already there. So God gave Joshua a plan, and a big portion of that plan was marching around the walls, playing trumpets, and shouting to the Lord. That was their form of worshiping God, playing trumpets and shouting. 
If you think about this story and you think of it from a warrior's perspective, it might take on a little different view. These were people who were destined to fight. They were ready for battle, they trained, they had their swords, they were ready to come in and battle somebody. And then they get there and their leader says, hey guys, instead we're going to worship God and we're going to shout. Well, they probably had an opportunity to be like, throw down their swords and say, wait a minute, I've been training for a battle and all I'm doing is shouting. But when they put their pride away and they did just what their leader asked them to, praising God with a mighty shout of victory, something amazing happened. Not only did their pride fall down, but also the walls of Jericho fell down. When we put our pride aside and we worship God in spirit and in truth, amazing things happen. So up next, we're gonna do praise and worship with the adults. I wanna encourage you, all young and old, put your pride aside this morning and let's worship him in spirit and in truth.